Welcome to another episode of Food Finders. Today we are in Tiong Baru and we have Genevieve with us. Hi. For this episode, we actually got our team to suggest recommendations in Tiong Baru. Yesterday in office. Lontong from Ali Corner. Damn sedap. Ooh, I really like the claypot rice from Guangdong Sha Pao Fan in Tiong Baru Market. Very good. Uh, skirt and dirt at Tiong Baru Food Center. I heard the cafe parlor is quite good. The beef noodle at Tiong Baru Plaza. Tang tip. Uh, Lanjo beef noodle. Thank you. If we pick the most delicious place from these recommendations, that person stands a chance to win $100. But if we both pick different places, it's a 50 50 split. I'm pretty excited that it's Tiong Baru today because mm -hmm. this is like the go to spot for like cafes. But also at the same time, like it has a lot of like old school favorites. Enough talking, let's get eating. First spot Tang Tip Lan Zhou Beef Noodle. Surprisingly, what I noticed was it is actually halal as well. So let's go check out some authentic Lan Zhou Beef Noodle. The four noodles are here. Firstly, the sauerkraut noodle, Shan Chai beef noodle. There's eight different noodles here. It this is the like leek leaf noodle. Looks like meatball. Okay, then this is the mala beef noodle. Signature chili oil is added to their mala and the noodles. Oh, this is a triangle. triangle. This is a triangle, right? Oh, they actually make triangle. I saw, I saw the noodle. The yeah. dough is like uh, that. Like that. Then they pull. And this is the signature beef noodle. You can see it comes with a whole ton of coriander. It's a thin one. Thin, thin, I think it's a thin noodle. The beef broth is slow simmered for many, many hours, made with 20 over spices. And lastly, we have the dry chicken noodle. And this one is actually the flat noodle. Fun fact, the style of noodle is dating back to the Tang Dynasty. Tang as in the soup dynasty? No lah! So what makes it like that signature look, right, is that it has the five color elements, Ting, Bai, Hong, Ting is the vegetable. Vegetable is the Ting is clear. Oh, oh, that that Ting. Clear what? Clear soup. Clear soup pie. Okay, radish. Pie is uh, pie lobo. Hong, you know lah. Hong chi chili. And then last Huang. Even though I don't really agree with Huang. It's quite Huang, what? I like the noodles, it's like mee sua. It's very soft lah. The beef, I like this part. See, mm. that's like marbling. That gelatinous part. It's very nice. But this is quite appetizing. It feels quite close to Jian Jia Tang. I've never actually heard of a triangle noodle. Wow, it's, I like it. There's more texture. Like compared to this and this. It's like chewier. Which yeah, is yeah, like yeah, yeah. Okay. what I love about noodles. It's like chewy. The mana is not too spicy. You can actually buy it, you know. The chili oil. They sell it in like box. Yeah. You bring the You gotta try that. The last, the last noodle though. You know what was you that do? More chili oil. Because I like my dry noodles a bit more like sour spicy. You add the chili, then you add the vinegar, then you okay. lau. Then you that nice. Which is your favourite? Like, yeah. The triangle noodle. Yeah, yeah. I like, like the triangle noodle. It's a, super unique. It's a clear win. I think for yeah. sauce, right? If you put a triangle noodle in the chili vinegar oh. with the soy sauce. It's no bad. No bad. It's no bad. No wonder they have seven outlets around Singapore. So this was recommended by Anso. Tang Tip. Good luck to you. And we're going to move off to the next spot. Cow Transitions. Bitch, I'm a here now at Cafe Pralette. This was a recommendation by our very own Dean. I'm rooting for you because it's a cafe. Cafe! Hello! Ah. Oh my god! This is Tim. So Tim is actually the second generation Hi, hello. owner. So we used to work in the same bar more than 10 years ago. Actually, he does yeah. look more like a bartender than like yeah. a cafe owner. Yeah. I want three donuts. You want three donuts? Three sandwiches. No, we're not yeah. having so many. We have got like the beef in and, and cheese in. So this is the first one here. This goes with our uh, wholemeal sourdough. Then we have the magic mushrooms. So it's roasted mushrooms of shiitake and button. Together with gouda, sharp cheddar. Then the last one that we have is the moho Sado. This one goes with our garlic chai po sourdough. We have the burnt butter, honey glaze. This is lemon basil, uh, not your typical lemon and thyme. Then we have our wholemeal sourdough croissant. What do you want to try first? I want to try the sandwiches. This is their magic mushrooms that is supposed to give me a trip. Right? I'm going to try the beef and cheese. I'm pretty excited because the bread itself feels really soft and fluffy. Okay, eat, eat, eat. 
I like the bread. Do you like right? the bread? When like you put bread, right, you can't really go wrong with a sandwich. You can literally put like just cheese and ham and you'll be like, wow. Really fluffy and the multi grains inside. I would say for a sourdough bread, it's really like moist and soft. My magic oh, yeah. mushroom was a bit of an Asian spicy pesto. My beef is like kind of sweet. It's like a sweet onion kind of flavor to it. Super tender. I mean, eat sandwiches, sometimes the vegetables are just like spill all over the place. Mm -hmm. But this is like, oh, very neat. Like, layered. layered like yeah. nicely. This thing is super juicy. It really tastes like the yakimiku. Yaki <laughs> I think Side they la. use like yeah. soy and mirin and everything. All the caramelized onions add to the Doing sweetness. So it does feel a bit Japanese-y. Yeah. But then mm. there's like cheese and lettuce and pickles. Mm. So it's like a cross. Okay, this is the moho sedo. sedo. But this bread is different from the other bread, right? The type O bread. Type o. You really get like the peppers flavor. It's so well done. Mmm, it's right, it's a mm mm. moment. It's not too fatty as well, which I appreciate. Okay. Because sometimes people like to do like pork belly in sandwiches. Mm. And then the yeah. whole sandwich gets a bit greasy. So when they use like a pork mm. collar, it's like a nice mix yeah. of fatty. I'm gonna love that though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So usually the structure right, of a sourdough croissant is slightly compromised. The way it rises is very different from instantly. So you might not get like the nice crumb. I have no idea what you're talking about. Do what you wanna it? see is like the crumb and then it has to be the like crumb? more okay. airy. The uh, round layers. It looks pretty round, pretty round. But it is actually quite classic of a sourdough croissant. Me, me, me. Give me some. Huh? Oh, it's actually very it's soft. It's so chewy. It doesn't yeah. like bump up. Kind of like retains the shape. Also, it's slightly different from what you get from a normal croissant. Mm. If you want something that is more mm. healthy tasting, mm. yeah. sometimes I don't like to eat too much croissant because mm. it's just very buttery. I mean, it's very nice. I like, I like croissant. Okay, donuts. donuts. Your expertise. My expertise. So this is a lemon basil curd and very classically, it has powdered sugar. Mine's the burnt butter donut. He mentioned that he also used sourdough. The bread itself is really fluffy and it's slightly chewier than what you get from a normal donut. The mm -hmm. filling itself is really light and citrusy, which I like because I don't really like sweet, sweet donut. More complex than the typical like glazed donut. It tastes quite caramel-ish. The, the butter really comes into play as well. And like the other thing that I look for in a donut is like the greasiness. I cannot taste any greasiness as well. The good donut should not have like greasiness. Mm. This is really good and I love really the sea salt. So let's move on to the next place. Let's go. We're at Tiong Baru. Baru Food Center. One of my favorite hawker centers because it has like a wide selection of things. So we have two recommendations from the team for two of the stalls here. Let's go. Skirt and Dirt is Rachel's recommendation. I think it's quite rare to find hamburger in a food center. Okay. I got you, you nasi ayam because they ran out of nasi lemak and long tong. The long tong looks really good. Ali's Corner is recommended by Aaron. We got the cheese skirt burger. So this is the Big Bad Woo pork burger. Skirt and Dirt is recommended by... Wait, who was it? Skirt and Dirt. Like a prata, but just cheese. I like the beef patty. It was really juicy and like well caramelized. The bun is quite fluffy as well. I wouldn't say I care too much for the cheese skirt. You like the cheese skirt? That's quite fun. Has a bit of like crispiness to the burger. I think I know why. I compare it with Parmesan crisp, and usually Parmesan crisp is a yeah. bit more like crunchy. I don't know what cheese they use here, but it wasn't giving me like the crunchiness. But I can tell the beef quality is good. I think the only thing for me was the bun could be like I don't know, more toaster. This is the Big Bad Wolf. Wait, is the burger pork? Doesn't taste like pork. If it's beef, it's like way overcooked. Ah. No. No, you don't like this burger? It's no to me. I'm gonna like it. It's just like a bacon burger. I would appreciate if the patty was something juicier. It reminded me of that episode we did. Rumley's. Because I really love my beef burgers. What's the difference between long tong and curry vegetables? I feel like Long Tong has more like coconut. It uses different spices. This is different spices. Yeah. Right? Wow, very coconutty. Super lama. The cabbage is cooked until. Like wow. it melts. I like cabbage that is cooked until it's like, it disintegrates in your mouth. The sambal is pretty good. It's, it's so picky. Actually... I like the sambal. It matches really well with the more sweeter coconutty long tong. So, we're gonna try the uh, ayam. Mm. 
chicken is not bad. Only pity is it's not nasi lemak. Ah, man, lemak, right? Ah, then you put yeah, your rice. No, it doesn't work that way. Not the <laughs> same. It's nasi lemak. I think kudos to the chicken. It's like super crispy and like really tender. And the, like chili the chili is yeah. good also. Okay, we're gonna head off from Tiong Bahru Food Center to the next spot. So we are at this Guangdong Xiang Gang Wei Tao. Anyway, this is a clay pot rice in Bio Crescent. And we're gonna get the number E clay pot sausage bacon chicken rice. It's quite fast, uh, the wait, five minutes. I could maybe. see like the uncle had 10 stones going. Right, right. So I don't like the mentors, they scam me by saying it's clay pot, but they don't cook it in the clay pot. They just pour. Uh. Yeah, they cook it on like some other thing. Then they just pour into the clay pot. I'll try the soup first. Oh, here's the ginseng chicken soup. The soup yes. will match very well with a very heavy dish. There's like two Which different... Which is the bacon? One is red and one is like brown. But it's both definitely sausage. Abu Den? But then this looks like bacon. I think it's a different type of lard chong. The chicken is damn tender. It's like it melts. Oh yeah, the chicken mm. is like... I got the kuo pa, or the mask. The darker lap chong taste like some kind of egg fermented lap chong. Are you still digging? Ah, okay, I got it, I got it. When it's too charred or too cooked, then it becomes burnt flavor and it just all clumps together. Fine balance, man, fine balance. You can only get that with like real fire. The dark lap chong and the red lap chong taste different. The red one is like just a typical lap chong. But the dark one is very interesting though. The red one is like really salty sweet. Black one, it has more of that liver taste. I love the salted fish also. I'm not sure if the bacon actually does anything. I cannot taste the bacon. Yeah, so how do you find the rice? Very strong, which I like. The flavor profile, all quite balanced. So who was this? Jillian, right? Good job. So this is the last spot we're trying in Tiong Bahru. Let's go and pick our most delicious stall. So we're back in the office after a whole day of eating at Tiong Bahru and Jen is still eating. Now we have to pick favorite stall. Okay. Prevent us from cheating, we're gonna write it down. Why oh, you stick it to my back? I stick it to you. Let me turn it. Okay. Hana, two, three. Oh, I don't know. I don't know who won. It's clay pot rice. Cafe. Hello. Hi. Dean, 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 you want money? <laughs> <laughs> clay pot rice is for my Jillian. Let's go give time. Jillian money. For clay pot rice. <laughs> Oh my god, I really get money yeah. After the camera ends, then we'll take it back. That's all for this video. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And tell us where we should go next in Singapore. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you. You like the fat, the fat noodles. Uh, fat? The flat noodles. Flat noodles. Uh, not a fan of flat noodles. Yeah. Like, like even me, I'm not like huge.